New York's Archbishop Timothy Cardinal Doan will be leading Midnight Mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral Christmas morning. I saw his schedule. And he joins us now with a preview of his Christmas message. Timothy Cardinal Dolan, thank thanks, you for being with thanks us. Thanks for the invite. Look how comfortable Ainsley, you look here. I am very comfortable with you all. I always feel at home here. Thank you. Right. I know when I asked you last year why to invite me for Christmas, and you said, well, we have a, a tradition of having chubby, cheerful people on. <laughs> Stop. So I'll, take, I'll take the cheerful part, all right? I don't know about the chubby, now, but... Now, I, during the commercial, you were actually kind of explaining how you come up with your sermon for Christmas Mass. Yeah, and yeah. Midnight. Thanks for asking, Steve. And I don't think it's unique to me. I, you know, you guys remember Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen. He sure. was a big, a great TV, TV evangelist. Show. You bet he did. Uh, beat up uh, Milton Berle on the mm -hmm. on the ratings. He always said it's a four point process. So you, you when you're preparing your homily, first you got to pray. So it starts in the heart and soul. All right. Then it starts in the soul with prayer. Then it moves to the heart. You fall in love with it. Goes up to the mind where you kind of write it out and put it on paper. And only then does it go to the lips. So I'm about in the mind now for my midnight step mass. Three. Uh, I'm at step three. So because it's a biggie, I know a lot of people listen. So I want to try to be as good as and I can. And I guess you tell the Christmas message because there are a lot of people that come to church just on Easter and on Christmas. And Christmas. So you know that twice great, yearly. They are. Yes, they you know, are. When mom right? comes to town, as they they will say that <laughs> right. too. They'll they'll show up. Uh, you know you're right. Ainsley, but we got a bonus because I preach right after the gospel because what I preach flows from the gospel and the gospel that at midnight mass of course is the Christmas story which we all kind of could lip sync we know it so well but we never get tired of it so to relate the beautiful Christmas gospel of the birth of the Savior the world Jesus and then right from there to preach I kind of got a leg up. So here, here's the thing. Do you look at what's happening in the world and you try to factor that in? You just try to give the message of Christmas. No, I think the, the two are tied together, right? In fact, the Christmas gospel starts with what's going on in the world. They talk about who the Roman emperor was, the census, who taxes. was the king, the taxes. Some things don't change, right? So what I would do, you know, the great, uh, the, the great uh, writer G.K. Chesterton said, you should always uh, pray with the Bible in one hand and today's newspaper in the other because you got to connect the two. You got to bring what God revealed in the Bible to us in the contemporary world. So I'll try to do both. Make That's it great. relevant. Thanks. You know, uh, we're five days away from Christmas. Yeah. A lot of people are uh, pulling their hair out because they feel like <laughs> I've got to be at the mall when they open. I got to buy all this stuff. I, I have to spend more than I did yeah. last year. And I know you just think that's folly because it that's it's not about stuff. Yeah, it's all folly holly in a way. Although, you know, there's a great, it, it is a great Christmas tradition to give away, to right. be selfless, to be but thinking about But don't drive yourself crazy. But don't drive yourself nuts. <laughs> Take it easy. Be all as calm. All is bright, silent night, right? Let's let that sink in. How do, how do you deal with that, though? Peace, so right? many people are stressed out right now. They what are do we do with that? You know why? I think, Ainsley, because we're all we're dominated by what's going on out there. I mean, my Lord, you, you all have to live it. You have to report every day of what's going on out there. The secret comes in, take care of in here, okay? This is what is important. Pope St. John Paul II used to say, stress being, mm -hmm. now get this, it's kind of complicated. Stress being over having and doing. We are driven to have and to do. He mm -hmm. said, okay, but first stress just being. You mean Christmas live, live being in the minute? Is yeah, and being about? with family and friends, being with the Lord and our heart and soul, being with one another, being with God's word, being with people in need, being with the sick, being with the people we love. You've seen married couples and, and one of them, the husband or wife, has Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. They still sit there. We just I just want to be be with him. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So there's a beauty and that's that's where the heart and the soul, that's where the inside comes right. in. And Christmas speaks to the inside. You know what a guy told me the other day? I was in prison. I love to go, go to the jails at this time of the year. So I had mass and I said, well, these guys aren't going to get to mass on Christmas, so I'm going to use the Christmas gospel, okay? Right. So afterwards, when I'm greeting the, the prisoners, one says, you know what? He says, if the Son of God can be born in a dirty stable with animals, mm -hmm. he can be reborn in the heart of a prisoner. Oh, I thought, wow. Buster, you got the Christmas meaning. And, oh, is that something? Think, and isn't That's it great, something. too? The prison Beautiful. reform is coming down, which is his second chance. Act. You got it. Re, re, to be reborn, to be reformed. Yeah. I am curious. Sorry to interrupt you. I'm curious to know 
Where did you grow up? And was this I a goal did. of yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> like this most time men, of right? year we want to be kids, <laughs> right? Because I know, like, for us, this was, this was our dream job. Was this, I mean, I'm sure yes. your family was so I grew up. I grew up in Missouri, mm -hmm. uh, right outside of St. Louis in Baldwin. Mm -hmm. I had a great family. My mom mm -hmm. may be watching. And um, so, no, I always wanted to be a priest. And I wanted to be a parish priest. You know what that means. The priest in a parish. You love your people. You're with them. You visit them. You're with the sick. You're comforting the dying. Always wanted to do it. God had other, other things in you store. You have a really big parish now. I have a, well, you know what? A good friend of mine, uh, when I said all I want to be is a parish priest, he said, well, you are. You just happen to have 2.6 million parishioners. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Archbishop of New York. So. It's the, it's the largest cathedral. It's the largest Catholic cathedral in the country? You know what? I think, uh, yeah, no, I can't tell a lie. <laughs> I think Newark, it beautiful is. basilica of yep. the Sacred Heart in Newark, is a, a bit bigger. In my eyes. Yeah. 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 So and theirs is paid off, too. You, so. uh, <laughs> all right, uh, you're not? No, not yet. We'll oh, okay. you know, if you, you, you refine it, you're you, in debt. If you show up for the second collection, we're okay. <laughs> right, right. Good. Good. I'm glad the scaffolding is down. When I moved it, here yes. 12 years ago, and it just came down like last you're year. You're right, right, Ainsley. It's only yeah. been down a couple years. So beautiful uh, she's to come so to New York. Clearly you your go. favorite. Thank uh, you. It's, uh, I can see. This. I like I like candles yeah. for she's you. She's looking right. Thank you. Way to go. Can you stick around for a couple more minutes? I'd love to. Because Thanks. You got any eggnog? <laughs> right. See? We've got some cage-free eggnog. Now you're talking. We right. about earlier. He is going to answer some of your questions. Quick uh -oh. emails. Make them talk. Uh -oh. Really talk.